is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am giving you an update on my fiddly fig propagation so about three months ago i pruned my over eight foot fiddly fig so i decided to go ahead and prune it because it was about to reach the top of my ceiling it was entirely too tall i decided to go ahead and give it a little haircut and from that i ended up getting this propagation here it has established a really good root system I just wanted to show you how the plant was doing. I've been needing to get it into some soil for a while now and just haven't had a chance to go out and find me a pot. This was a cutting that I took from one of my other fiddle leaf figs and I have this one growing in soil now. And I did it the same exact way. So once I took the cutting, all I did was just put it in a jar with water and put it in a bright location. I changed the water out every couple of days, maybe even a week sometimes pushing it just depending on how cloudy the water was and it just started to grow roots. This is how this one is looking in soil. It is doing great, it is thriving. So I was having a few questions about the propagation process. Now there's several methods you can use. You could use a rooting hormone, you could put it directly into soil. I always prefer to do it with the water method. I don't know, I just find that that has worked for me. I put it in some water, I put it in a bright location, and within a few weeks, a month, I start to have roots. I did the cutting three months ago, but I have had roots on this plant since one month, and I just haven't had a chance to get around to potting it up but it has a really good root system I'm just gonna take it out of the water so I can show you guys She is thriving in this water. She has plenty of roots. Now the next step is to get her into some soil. The only thing that has been holding me back from doing that is finding a pot. I need more pots because I have several propagations constantly always going on and I'm out of pots at the moment. So the next step is for me to go out pot shopping to pick up some pots and get this into some soil. So once I get her potted up into some soil, you wanna keep the soil kinda of moist. Don't overdo the watering. You don't want it soggy and drenched and you don't wanna water it every day. You just need to check it every day and see how the soil is. Since this has been growing in water, the roots have already got adapted to constant moisture. So you don't want to just put it in soil and then let it dry dry out because it's going to shock the plant because it's not used to that. It's already got accommodated to water. So what you want to do is just check the soil once or twice a week maybe and just make sure that it's moist, not soggy, just a little damp. And then you can slowly cut back on the watering and go on to like your regular plant watering schedule with it. I know you could also use a rooting hormone and I have also read, I haven't tried this yet, but I would like to try it, is that you can use fresh aloe vera. If you have an aloe vera plant, you would simply just take a cutting from that and use the gel as just like you would any other rooting hormone you would just dip that into the gel and into soil that way and it would promote growth I haven't had any new growth come in yet but she is looking good when I first took the cutting and I put her in water she was very sad she looked sad her leaves were very droopy and then as soon as the first root started to come through she perked right back up she was very happy again and you can see it it will be like a little white dot first where the roots are going to come in before anything actually comes out it's just like a white little spot and that is where you will see roots but one tip for when you are taking your cutting is you definitely want to take it in a woody location you don't want to take it in the green new growth area that's not going to work you have to take it in a wooded area and you want to do it around a node i'm going to get this potted up soon get her in some soil and you don't want to go too big on the pot this is probably a good side and she'll stay in this pot for a good while now this is going to be her home for quite some time on until she establishes a good root system and will need to be up potted like go up to the next size pot but as of right now this one has been in this pot for a year and it's just doing great leaves are happy this is all new top growth this is all new growth right here this one only had a couple of leaves on it when I propagated this one last year so this is how this one this one in the water will eventually look like this one in this pot and look how lush the leaves are they look gorgeous the propagation process is fairly easy to do. Don't be afraid, you can learn from your mistakes. If you do something wrong the first time, then you just know better for the next time. Too easy, if you just take your cutting in a wooded area in between a node, you can't go wrong. A few weeks to a month, you would definitely have some roots. I need to get this one into some soil. I have a couple of propagations here that I actually need to get into soil as well. I have these snake plants. 
These also have plenty of roots. So I have this one and then I have this Monstera. This is a cutting I also took a few months back. So I have all these cuttings that I need to get potted up. The plant propagation lady. Look at the roots on this one. Boy, this one is really neat, in need of some soil. It's even giving me an aerial root here. Look at that. Wow, those are some healthy roots. So let's just recap a little bit. Three months ago, I pruned my eight foot fiddle leaf fig. Three months later, I have a healthy root system. Next step is for me to purchase a planter, get it into some soil, and then the fun is just to watch your new cutting grow. Watch your new plant baby grow. It will continue to grow. This one is a bigger cutting, so this one's already taller than this one. This one was smaller, but this is my new plant baby. I gave birth to it. Well, I didn't give birth to it, but you know what I mean. I created this plant baby. I had a couple of other cuttings and I sold them at a plant sale. So that's another thing. If you have the space in your home, you can always add it to your plant collection for more home decor. You can give it to friends or family. If you know somebody that's going to be able to take care of it and provide the needs for it, or you can sell them. So it's too easy to do. It's not really hard. It's not really rocket science. I think for me, the preferred method is the water method is the easiest for me. I don't have to worry about any rooting hormones or anything like that. I don't think that it's really official until after this is in soil and it's thriving. Yes, I have a really good root system, but once I get it into its soil, if I overwater it, that could be a disaster. I could kill it then. So I don't really feel that it's official tissue until a few weeks after it's already established into its pot and it's thriving and I've gotten the water situation under control. Then I have officially propagated a cutting that's when i feel it's official because right now i have this cutting it has root but the real challenge is going to see if i'm going to have success once i get it into the soil which i know i am because this is not my first rodeo i have done this several times but if this is your first rodeo that is going to be the main part right here this is easy you put the cutting into some water and you change the water every few days but the biggest thing is going to be success once you get it into some soil that is when you have to make sure you get the watering needs just right you don't want to underwater you don't want over water but after that it is smooth sailing it is really too easy and if you already have experience with a fiddle leaf fig then it is no different than that it is the same exact needs just make sure that, that you don't let it dry out right away because it has already gotten acclimated to living and growing in water so you just want to make sure that the soil stays moist for a few days and that's it you guys it's too easy it's not really that challenging I think we overthink things and make it more difficult than it really is so I just wanted to come and give you guys an update on how my cutting was doing she's doing great she's thriving i need to go planter shopping and i'm gonna get that in just a few days and then i will do an updated video on me planting all of my propagations because at the moment i have four propagations that i need to get into some soil this is the easiest method to me cutting into water a few weeks months you have roots and you have to be patient you have to be patient if you don't if you take your cutting and you put it in water and you don't see root within a week or two don't panic it just needs more time it, it takes more time and especially if you're going to be doing it on a, in an off season you want to probably take your cutting during a, a growing season which is usually spring or summer right now we're, all, we're transitioning into fall so it probably wouldn't be the best time to take a cutting however i have done it i have done it and it has worked it just takes a little bit longer so that is it you guys thanks for hanging out with me today and talking about my plant propagation and I will see you in the next video hopefully I have some planters in, um, within the next week and I can get things plotted up and share that with you as well so we'll see you in the next one and hit the subscribe button right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.